Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's time to do some cleaning with chaos. Now, I guess the first thing we have to do is decide what we're going to clean. And my first thought was, let's clean four OMAC comics. Because, you know, they could use it. They're, they're a little dirty, and I think cleaning them up would be a good thing for whoever owns them after me. So, that was my first thought. And then I'm going through a box looking for stuff for to sell on Tuesday. And what do you think I find but... A nasty, dirty, filthy... Little Orphan Annie. I mean, this is... The, the clothes are dirty. The, look at the face. I mean, the... The face is really bad. I mean, it's just, it's almost black with dirt. And the clothes, they, 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 the white is dingy. The underwear is falling down. Uh, it needs to be cleaned. Everything on this doll needs to be cleaned. It's screaming for a little bit of help. She can't even keep her panties up. I mean, that's bad. So... This is what we're going to work on. We're going to work on a little lore for Annie. Stay tuned. It's going to happen as soon as I take a picture of this one. All right. The first thing I need to do is gather up supplies. And I think what I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use some hot water. Uh... Probably some uh, some sort of soap. I will probably use some Dawn dish soap for the doll itself. And for the clothes, I think I'll, I'll use some uh, OxyClean on the clothes. I could use the OxyClean on the doll too, but I think Dawn would work just fine for this. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to dish, use dishwashing detergent and OxyClean for the clothes. So uh, let me go gather up the supplies I need and we'll get started. All right, I got my supplies here. I got an empty box that, uh, it's a card box, but it's old, it's used. I've got a small bowl with some uh, dishwashing detergent in it. And I've got my little bit of OxyClean here. And we're not going to use very much. Probably just, you know, oh, about that much. And... I forgot my hot water. Let me go get my hot water. All right, I got a pint of water here. Uh, and I, I warmed it up in the microwave for about two and a half minutes, so it's not super hot, but it's hot enough that it'll work. And we'll stick that in there, and then we'll pour some more in here. And I also have an old toothbrush. That's the key element. Now, the first thing we need to do is remove the clothes. So don't look. <laughs> okay. Take off the underwear. Throw that in there. Take this off. Now what I really like to do when I'm washing doll clothes is put them in some OxyClean and water and uh, in a jar and just shake the, shake the heck out of the jar. But I don't have a jar that I can use right now for that. So I'm just going to stick them in here. We'll probably leave this in here for a while, probably you know, 20 or 30 minutes. It's already getting pretty nasty, pretty dirty. Okay, let's... A lot of times when I'm working with dolls, I'll pop the head off. I'm not going to do that with this one. If you notice, the body is not too bad. It's the head, mostly, that's, that's filthy. So, let's, uh, let's get started on that. And we'll just put her in the dawn here. You see why I went with the Dawn? Number one, if it's good enough to use on a duck, 
that has oil on it. It's good enough to use on toys. <laughs> but uh, see how much, how clean it gets, how quickly it gets clean. And uh, the water's hot, but it's not going to scald me if I accidentally dip my hand in there. I will rinse it off with cold water most likely. And it's a, it's not very big. It's a small doll for sure. Don't want to mess up the curls too much so we just dip it back in there. And uh, I'm going to rinse this off with cold water. I think. Yeah, there's some yellow on the... A little bit of yellowing. So, like some kind of stain. Yeah, that water's a little bit hot. I can feel it on my fingers. Now, I did not wash my hands before I started doing this. I just want to let you know that. I should have, but I didn't. And since I'm not using any really harsh chemicals right now, it's not a problem. Uh, as far as not wearing gloves. And I think that's actually clean enough. Uh, I'll have to rinse it off and then we'll see what it looks like. Uh, just set her in there. Set her in her bathtub. Let me take a look at this a little bit. Ooh, it's turning red. So some of that some of the red from the uh, some of the red dye from the the headdress is actually coming off. So let's pull out that underwear before it gets too bad. Throw it in that other water. All right. I'm gonna take these to my sink and rinse them off, and. Uh, then I'm going to let it all dry, and I'll show you the after. And I'm back, and things appear to be dry, so uh, let's uh, put her clothes back on and compare her to the other one. Put her panties on first, because that's the way we normally get dressed, right? These sure are big. I sometimes wonder if they actually go on her, but I'm sure they do. You know what? I don't think they go on her. They look more like they'd go on a Barbie. But what I can do, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Put a dress on. Those are the panties that were on her when I bought her, so those are the ones that are going to stay on there. Whether they belong on her or not, I will figure something out. Put her arms in. Put the other arm in. I'm not very adept at this. It's not something I used to do as a young child. <laughs> I didn't play with dolls much when I was a child. Matter of fact, didn't play with them at all. I had matchbox toys and big trucks because back in the 50s, early or mid, late 50s, early 60s, that's what little boys played with. They didn't play with dolls. That didn't happen until the mid to late 60s. Close it up. There you go. 
what we're going to do now and, and and the face is a little yellowish i mean i could probably fix that with some uh, with something but i don't think i want to so what we're going to do we're gonna, Set her down here and we'll take a picture and compare the original with this one and see which one we like better. And yeah, let's do that. All right, the picture is taken. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the before and after. Uh, I'm going to put the pictures side by side. So the before will be on the left and the after will be on the right. I'll do the front and then I'll show you the back and uh, that'll be it. So uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, I think it looks a little better. Um, personally, uh, I'm going to uh, probably list this on eBay. Uh, maybe I might get her hair wet and and put it closer to her head just uh, so the curls are a little tighter so it looks more like like she's supposed to look uh, but yeah we're gonna do that and uh, I'll put her on eBay and uh, see what kind of money I can get for her. you know you never know I might get two three four dollars maybe more I never know uh, but I had fun and I hope you did too I hope you enjoy this video and if you did enjoy the video you, there's a little, you know, thing up the bottom where you can, you know, give it a thumb up. And if you didn't like the video, well, I'll thumb it down and don't tell anybody. Uh, but if you, it would be nice if you'd let me know why you didn't like it. And if you liked it, don't just give me the thumbs up. Tell other people that you think might like this type of video about it so that they can watch it too. Maybe they'll sub and might be, uh. Maybe I'll get a few more subs and some more people that are interested in the kind of things I do on here. And uh, in the meantime, uh, make sure before you handle your dolls, <laughs> wash your hands. It's good for your collectibles. More importantly, it's good for your health. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, we'll see you tonight on my live stream. Bye.